fantastic space, space right? right? Exactly. It's all about creating that space. Whereas BDS have a lot of dive tools. Vi wants to go in. The Gnar with the Mega Earl wants to go in. The Nautilus wants to land that ultimate connect. Seeing a rematch of the upper bracket. Last split, it was BDS that got the better of Vitality. Yep. And they also then ran into G2, who got the better of Fnatic. We're going to see how different things are today as Photon. Goldcar comes out. Douglas. A lot of damage coming through. I mean, Douglas is level one Maokai already. That Q as it flies through. He's done his rotation. Photon now looks for the gold card show. Flashes over so he survives, but Photon's in trouble now. Orb comes down, and for Nuke, he's not got anything else. Video joins in. Gold card on the way out. Photon had to go looking for that push up. Photon does have his flash available. Daglas on the bot side of the map. Kazi actually goes in with the it's E. It's a bait. Dredge line here. Daglas still twisted advance there, but under turret, he's taking a shot as Healy goes a bit too far forward, but first blood, nevertheless. Vitality open up with a kill bot. Love to get a base off right now. He's very low on mana, very susceptible to getting dived. Daglas still here though. Hello, Peekaboo. He's been so patient himself. They jump onto Shao. Who would expect this man to stick around for so long? Kazi gets a CS. Ice and Lebrov now as they push the wave in. Have to walk up to complete the This knack of finding really good team fights. Out of nowhere, a, yeah. Yeah, they have a great awareness of how to play around objectives. And let's have a look, because right now the early dragon is being eyed up. One starts off, he'll saying in the middle of the river, trying to bait on in. That's a dredge line to kick off. BDS do have numbers, but it won't matter because Lebrov is dead from the start. Scatter the weak is great here as Nuke is exhausted, but Unleashed Power won't do enough damage. The exhaust from Kazi may have saved his life. As BDS get on out of there, the Double range six. is starting to be too, too much. And as the six comes through, Ice has got to run for his life. He's on the edge. So for Vitality, I think they've done a good job as well, forcing out bot side. And we always like to talk about what's the response on the other side of the map. Right now for BDS, BDS, can you see anything? Can you see what BDS are trying to achieve? Champions that are designed to peel, protect, they can still look for these aggressive plays. Now BDS looking for an aggressive play of their own. Are they going to get their first kill? I mean, the ult into the wall, almost a solo kill. Adam takes two turret shots, those gold card holds out. Nuke just unleashes power, but he doesn't have enough damage. Gets stunned oh. up, flush away. Nuke is going to die to Douglas. Photon is doing the cha-cha-cha. Running down the top laners. Adam now TP'd on by Video. And BDS tries, you might. Vitality are in your head this game. Either a kill given over to Video with that roam up using his teleport. Photon surviving as well. Nothing over to this Syndra. And we talk so much about the Vindra, Syndra size. Uh, I could speak normally, but now I'm going to pause because gold card under turret. Adam taking this into his own hands, leaps away, gets a kill. A wow. shot. Vitality draw their attention to the bot tower once more. Well, that bot tower might transition slowly into the next dragon as well. Shao waiting here, and Hill is saying happy to tank it up. Glacial Fisher hits Nuke on the back end as well. Twisted advance and the flash. True shot barrage. The poke and range comes in, and Hilly blocks all the orbs. That's why Brom is so good at the depth charts. Gets a three man though. Meanwhile, Video is hitting from the side. Flash forward from Nuke, not finding anything. An orb down, but it's a deceptive one at that. As Vitality continue to poke down. And but maybe they could just for something now. Adam's in mini, ulti used by Video. The rest of BDS coming in, but the Shifting Sands moves Video out of range. Adam's just getting auto down. He's now a one shot. If he goes Meganar, that will change. His Nature's Grass helping out. A three versus two again, but Vitality are looking for this Meganar who's now finally evolved. Video with the range once more. Hilly Kazi moving in, but BDS back to that out of He's fully in control of Vitality. This is going to be their second of the game. Unless Lebrov has something to say about it. Look at the ult he's up. Nature's Grasp is not there. As the Emperor's Divide is not there. Death Charge is, though, onto Kazi. Arcane shifts out, builds spaces. Crucial Barrage is there, but there you go. Cease and desist onto Kazi. He flashes over, survives somehow. But the burn eventually takes him. It's a one for one. While well, Destiny was used to bring on in the Funk. But Douglas is not Funkin' or Jivin' at the moment because there's no one there to help him. Three members of Vitality go down for the cost of drag. Kazi, remember, we just saw a scan of the week go shy of hitting him. If it lands, he has no cleanse. There's no bell to get him out of it as Herald gets sent away. Arcane ship forward again. Good poke again. Nature's Grass out. Destiny is looking for the 5v5 off the side. Photon joins in. Gold card. Scout of the Week in response, but Douglas separates them all. Running forward. Hilly gets in the way as Video depth charged out. But for BDS, they wanted to take a 5v5, but without hitting anything, without setting it up, it's easy for Hilly to just go, no, 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 no. Wow. I, I'm surprised by how aggressive Vitality were in that force. They're going to start the Baron. There's no smite for BDS, but they still have members alive to contest. Meganar with ulti and flash available. That's one thing that wasn't used here for BDS. Adam trying to get on in at 2k. They're going to flip it around. Smite comes through and 
Vitality get the Baron as Adam gets stunned up, shuffled back, ulti is not going to be used, he wants to escape, but not today. Kazi barrages through, another kill for the man in the bottom lane who's only taken names at this point. Nuke stands there to deliver, but he gets delivered out. And for Vitality this game, the more aggression yeah, it we... looks like he's going to crumble, Hysterics. Just like BDS's game plan at this point. With all the options taken away, the base now broken. You see bot side, Photon's there. Shara has to make a move with Adam at his side, but it's a mini nah. Damage will come through, and Photon looks to die, but he flashes over the wall, gets out in an instant, and now Shao's isolated without any mana. Good scan of the week, though, is Hilly. He's still frontlining. Unleashed powered on as well. You can see Kazi and Video aren't there. <laughs> so even though it ends up being a trade... Basically, you're quite right. BDS were just desperate in that situation. They were looking to try and find a pick. They looked to try and get something back, slow the pressure down that was coming from Vitality. Ain't that much at this point. And as Baron now wears off, as Vitality run forward, this turret is just going to drop. Adam has to make a move because it's going to be a second inhibitor as well. And the game could just end if Vitality are able to poke out and oh, destroy going. one person. They do not care about the Baron. That is going to throw the Maokai ult to zone them away. There we go. Fish is down as well. Nature's grass Vitality going to get scattered of the week as well for Nuke, but no damage into Daglas. None whatsoever. Unleash what? Okay. There's an execute on Nuke now, it seems, as that's one pick to delay the inevitable, but Destiny going to be used. Both on ended games before, but is the Nexus open? He jumps back in. Gold card. Again, video separates spaces. That's going to get him out alive. But BDS, hold on. No one dies. And the ending here for Vitality, not going to be as clean. As they would have been able to get the out. kill. Yep. That's the beauty of Hilly. Great awareness from him. Does get the flash out from the mid laner. And ultimately, this fight was just to force BDS back. Yeah. No risk of a steal. No flips of the back. They can get a miracle pinch. A miracle setup from this Syndra, from the Vive, Eddie. Pretty much. Something that gets you the game it's just back. open season on the inhibitor turret because BDS had to base because of the poke keep flying through. Vitality still playing at range. The Maokai ultimate sure to come soon. Can they defend the last turret? I mean, again, being out range is great. There's Destiny used. LeBron doesn't even get to engage. Vitality hitting from afar. Adam flashes in, but Video goes golden, so it's only Hilly. Glacial Fisher again sends them backwards as for BDS. It is all about denying them access to the Ezreal, to the Azir. Video and Kazi fire once more, and with the Nexus down, this game one ain't like winter. It's Vitality on the board. Clean game from start to finish, ultimately from Vitality. Very little to criticize in the grand scheme of things. Huge credit to Daglas and supporting his bot side of the map very early on. I expected BDS to try and put pressure on the bot side of the map, but they just couldn't do it.